Let's take a look at another question common on the multi-subject CST part two math. This is a popular ratio question and it asks you to look at a couple of different factors to find a missing speed. Here's the question. Amir and his twin sister live 240 kilometers from their university. Amir leaves at 8 o'clock in the morning and drives at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. His sister Jasmine leaves at 10 o'clock and arrives at the same time. What was the speed of Jasmine's car? Well, we have some important information. I know that we're talking about two people, Amir and his twin sister. They live 240 kilometers away from their university. Amir's leaving at 8 o'clock in the morning, and he's driving at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Ooh, I'm going to highlight kilometers per hour. That's a really important term. We call that a unit rate. It tells me that Amir is driving 30 kilometers every one hour. We deal with unit rates all the time in life. Typically, you're going to see them when you're in a car. Think miles per hour. How many miles you drive over the course of one hour? That's the speed of your car. Well, we know that his sister Jasmine leaves at 10 o'clock. Okay, well, 8, 10 o'clock, I'm sure that those are important some way. They, she arrives at the same time. Oh, she must be going really fast if they're arriving at the same time. What is the speed of Jasmine's car? Well, in order to find the speed of Jasmine's car, I need to know how many hours she was driving. And they don't directly tell that to me. But I know that she leaves at 10 o'clock and her brother Amir leaves at 8 o'clock. So I could model that. Amir, he leaves at 8 o'clock. And then he gets to that school. Well, I don't know how long it took him. But I do know his distance and his speed. Remember when I said this unit fraction is going to come in handy? It does right now. Think of it as our key. It's going to help us set up this problem. 30 kilometers per hour is telling us that we're going a distance of 30 kilometers every one hour. Well, I know how many kilometers it takes to get from their house to the school. It takes a total 240 kilometers. Well, I would need to know how many hours it takes. I could set up my proportion, cross multiply, and solve. 30x equals 240 times 1. Well, anything times 1 is just itself, so I don't really even need that. I can divide by 30 to get x alone. And x leaves me with 8 my hours. Amir was driving for 8 hours. So he started at 8, took him an, a total of 8 hours. Well, now I want to know about his sister. She leaves at 10 o'clock. Okay, 10 o'clock's about here. Oh, I see that that's a distance of 2. She's leaving 2 hours later than Amir. Oh, well, if 8 hours was Amir's total time, and Jasmine's getting there 2 hours uh, starting her journey two hours after Amir, but getting there at the same time, that must mean she's taking a total of six hours to drive. Well, since I know her time, I can put the total distance divided by the total time to get her speed. 24 kilometers divided by six hours is going to get me a certain number of kilometers every one hour. I could cross multiply again, or some keen eyes might be able to see, oh, we could just divide the top and bottom. Either way is fine, you're gonna get the same answer. 240 times one, which is really the same thing as just 240, equals six times x, divide by six, divide by six, x equals 40. Jasmine was going 40 miles per hour. X equals 40. Jasmine was going 40 miles per hour, which is answer choice B.